Hello and good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining this week's episode of Atram webinar series. I am Ross Santos, Growth and Value Manager of Atram Prime and your host for today. The Philippines' annual inflation rate increased from 6.1% in June to 6.4% in July 2022, marking the highest level since October 2018, and above the market consensus of 6.2%. And with these rising rates, managing finances can be quite difficult. Good news is that you may take necessary steps to take advantage of the rising prices especially in your investment portfolio. In this volatile environment, income is seen as an effective tool for reducing investment volatility as it offers consistent cash flow, whereas the main value fluctuates. Stay tuned to discover more income opportunities that can help you broaden the potential sources of yield in this current environment we're in. If you have any questions, you may send them as early as now by clicking on the Q&A button below your screen. Before we begin, I'd like to let you know that this session will be recorded and that copies will be disseminated as well as posted on all our social media platforms. If you are just starting out in this world of finance and investments or already a seasoned investor who would like to be in the loop with the latest investment news and strategies, we have some wonderful resources to get you started. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Atram Studio. If you have friends who you think would like this webinar but are unable to attend, a replay of this session will be posted on our official YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you get notified on all your devices when new videos are uploaded. Also, please don't forget to visit our website, www.atram.com.ph for more detailed information about all the funds that we offer. You may also scan the QR code to visit our official social media pages. We would like this webinar to be as interactive as possible, so please don't hesitate to send your questions in the Q&A tab all throughout the webinar. Each question you send is a raffle entry for a chance to win limited Atrium merchandise. Winners will be announced at the end of the webinar so make sure to stay until the end. We will also be wrapping up with a quick feedback survey after the webinar, so we do hope that you can share your thoughts with us about our session today and how we can further improve our webinar series. It is indeed a privilege and a pleasure to have with us today the head of Atram's local market, Miguel Liboro. Miguel has 11 years of experience in the fields of treasury trading and asset management. He has been with the firm for more than eight years and currently oversees local markets, fixed income and equities portfolio management, dealing and execution, and as well as the credit research team of the firm. He completed the BAP Treasury Certification Program and was awarded the number one rank in most astute investor in Asian currency bonds by the Asset Magazine consecutively for the years 2015 to 2021 and the most astute investor in Asian G3 bonds from 2018 to 2021. So without further ado, let's start. Hello, Miguel. The floor is yours. Thanks, Ross. And thanks to everybody for joining us today. Now, it's been quite a volatile year and there's been a lot of action in the markets. So before we jump into the main topic for today, which is local markets and what we've got in store for you, let's take a quick step back and a broad look at what's been going on in, in financial markets over the last seven months. As you can see in the slide in front of you, it's been quite a challenging year. And with the exception of commodities, which I guess is not surprising, given that inflation, both globally and locally, has been one of the central themes um, this year, every other broad asset class has generated a year-to-date negative return. That means that even asset classes looked at as more stable or safe, such as fixed income generally, or more risky or aggressive, such as equities, have both turned in negative performances or negative returns year-to-date. And that's quite unusual, actually. 
because typically the, corre the negative correlation between these has tended to hold. And this year, we just saw that completely move in the same direction. So what does the rest of the year have in store for us? Rates have moved up quite aggressively in the local market. We moved from inflation closer to 4% at the end of last year, all the way to 6.4% where we found ourselves by the end of July. That wasn't the only reason though that local bond yields moved higher. One reason was, of course, as we've been reading about on Bloomberg and on Facebook News, the US Federal Reserve has been in an aggressive rate hiking cycle. It's raised rates significantly by 2.25%, taking the policy rate in the US all the way from 0.25% to 2.5%. That's put pressure on yields globally to move higher. Now that's been a factor, but it hasn't been the main reason why our own yields have adjusted higher as well. The BSP also moved the policy rate from 2% to where it is today, 3.25%. Inflation has moved up aggressively, and it's not just a numbers game. It's something at this point that we're really feeling in our day-to-day -day lives. I, for one, have not been excited about loading up uh, at the gas station for my car. I haven't paid I haven't had to pay prices this high in quite some time, and I'm definitely looking forward to the time when I don't have to pay this much anymore. The good news is we think that that time is hopefully not too far off. While we're not expecting prices to drop significantly or immediately, we do feel that inflation at current levels above 6% will soon be a thing of the past, hopefully. We expect price pressures to stabilize over the third quarter and peak before gradually sliding lower. Now, I'm not saying that this will happen over the next six months necessarily, or that we move back towards the 4% area immediately, but we do have the view that over the medium to longer term, inflation will slide back below 6% and approach the 4 to 5% area once more. What does that mean? That means that at current levels, fixed income is actually pretty attractive. It's been quite painful for bondholders the last couple of years, coming from all-time highs hit during the COVID pandemic. From almost zero inflation, uh, from sub-2% inflation and pandemic, uh, pandemic response rates, we adjusted aggressively higher over the last couple of years. And while that has been painful, what it presents is a very good opportunity for new investors coming in or for investors looking to average or buy at better yields. I'd like to draw your attention to the graph on screen. I wish in retrospect that I'd made the colors a bit more distinct, but I do have a monochrome, monochrome uh, preference as you can see. The light blue graph over there represents around where we were in September back in 2018, when inflation was at around similar levels before peaking at the 6.7% area in October. Next, I'd like to draw your attention to the darkest blue yield curve there. That's where levels were as of a couple of weeks ago. We're nowhere close to where we thought we could go back in 2018, which is where we were hoping to be able to lock in much higher rates. But if I could draw your attention to the final yield curve there, which actually represents uh, mid-year 2019. So what you can see was there was a substantial run lower or a very significant rally in the levels where we were peaking in inflation to where the market headed after. And what that did was allow investors who locked in at those higher levels, not just the ability to have higher yields, but to generate significant price returns on their bond holdings as immediately as over the next six to nine months. Now, I'm not saying that we expect it to happen exactly like that, but we do hold a view of a similar action happening over the next six to nine months. 
And while, as I pointed out earlier, current levels are not as high as they were in 2018, we feel that inflation will follow a similar trajectory and allow for similar movement in yields. So it makes sense to lock in buying fixed income securities now, locking in those higher yields and generating what we feel could be significant price gains as recent as immediately as over the next six to nine months. What does that mean for the equity market? It's been quite challenging in the local equities market, not just over the last two years, and especially over the COVID pandemic, but over the last five years or so. But we have room to be optimistic. We're coming from a very low base of activity after the pandemic. We have an economy that's finally getting back on its feet and that a reopening story that has yet to hit full stride. Now, the levels you see before you uh, may be up for some debate or updates soon, as these are still based on the, uh, at the time, most recently available first quarter earnings. We actually just finished or are just finishing this week the second quarter earnings cycle for the companies in the Philippine stock, street, Philippine stock market. Um, and of course, there could be some revision towards this target. But by and large, companies have been able to deliver on the growth that, uh, that the market has largely expected of them. And that's a good sign. It feeds into and validates the reopening theme, which is currently in, in, uh, in play and which we expect to continue over the latter part of the year and into 2023. Now, we're not, nobody can say with any certainty where the market will close the year, especially because we're just a few months away. But as you can see from this chart, over the last couple of months, we broke the technical level of 6,700 and moved down into the range that we expected, 6,100 to 6,300 for the PSEI, where we stayed for the last month and a half to two months. And we finally broken above that technical range again and are trading above the 6,700 once more. We think that the reopening story is back and notwithstanding the headwinds that will continue to uh, challenge risk markets and the local equity market, we're quite optimistic on the prospects for 2023. What does that mean for an investor? I just highlighted the case for why it definitely makes sense to buy fixed income right now. Lock in those higher rates, especially given the view that they'll be moving lower and fixed income securities will be generating price gains. I also just highlighted the case for equities. It's been challenging, but from a valuation standpoint, we think that there's a lot of value and a lot of upside from the 6,700 levels we find ourselves currently to the 7,800 target that we have in front of you. Now, even if you're not as bullish as, uh, as we are, there is significant upside to be had in the Philippine equities market. What we have next is a strategy which I think will be able to combine both those elements and take advantage of the opportunities in both these markets of buying in the fixed income market before rates go down and buying while we think the equities market is quite undervalued before what we think could be an aggressive move higher. But I'll let DJ talk about that. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Miguel. That was a great overview on the income space. And now, to give us an introduction of our newest fund, the Atram Peso Diversified Income Fund, we have Atram's Product Development Manager, DJ Jesus. As a Product Development Manager, DJ identifies potential new product opportunities to continue Atram's legacy of innovation. Hello, DJ. The floor is yours. Thank you, Miguel, for the outlook. With the recent highs in yields, income-generating assets are looking even more attractive with potential capital appreciation if inflation continues to cool. And with this, we present our newest investment solution, the Atram Peso Diversified Income Fund. 
the fund aims to generate income through the various income generating assets within the Philippine space, including one of the newest tradable assets, REITs or real estate investment trusts. This fund will be co-managed by Lodevico Ulpo and our previous speaker, Miguel Liboro, both award-winning bond managers. The fund provides a good balance of liquidity from government bonds, as well as yield from REITs and preferred shares, a first in the local fund market. Because of this, this fund is perfect for the moderately aggressive investor, especially those that are later in their stage of life or are slightly less aggressive. The fund aims to pay out income semi-annually from the income generated by the assets. Atram developed this solution, recognizing the need for more investors to search for yield and look for income, and to take advantage of the latest market offerings like REITs. Also, Miguel paints a market environment that is very attractive for income because inflation targets of the BSP are at 2 to 4%, having yields that are at or around 5 to 6% have been rare. And unless you were looking at highly risky assets, this is a good bargain. With the yields at the highs and asset prices at its lows, following the buy low sell high principle, the market is looking very attractive. What makes this fund different compared to others is that it may invest into all kinds of tradable income generating assets. These include a combination of government bonds, corporate bonds, preferred shares, REITs, and high paying dividend stocks. We have the fixed income portion at around 60%. So while it is still categorized as moderately aggressive, it is on the more conservative side. This will provide you stability balanced out with growth. The fund will be managed actively by the team, adjusting the portfolio to find the best income opportunities while managing risk due to macroeconomic trends. This is important, especially during times an asset class may have a downtrend in the market or when a security becomes expensive and provides a selling opportunity. A large portion of the fund will enable investors to have a stable source of income. These will be invested on average over the long term, 25% in government bonds, 35% in corporate bonds, and 15% in debt like preferred shares. The rest of the portfolio would help provide some growth to the portfolio. This is through the portfolio's investment in REITs with an average long-run holding of around 25%. Depending on market conditions, though, we may invest in high-dividend stocks, particularly those that have strong household names and predictable cash flows. This is the overall breakdown of the portfolio in the long term. Overall, we would not exceed 60% holdings in REITs, preferred shares, and stocks, but we may go defensive and be completely in bonds. This will depend on the market conditions. We don't plan to hold much cash unless income generating assets in the Philippines are going down. We will opt instead at 50% in deposit and money market products during this time. With this fund, we aim to provide a diversified portfolio, a one-stop investment solution that you can continue to put your money into. What's more is that the coupons and dividends we receive from the income generating assets will be paid to you twice a year. Do note that due to regulations, the yield is likely to change per payout, but we do aim to provide an annual yield close to 5%. Do note that the 5% is not guaranteed and may change depending on market conditions. All in all, if you want a moderately aggressive product with an objective for generating regular income and growing capital from local market issuances, or if you need an investment with a medium to long-term investment horizon, around at least five to seven years, this product may be for you. 
hoping you would take advantage of another first of its kind market solution that takes advantage of the income generating investments in the Philippines. Invest in the Atram Peso Diversified Income Fund. Thank you. Thank you so much, DJ. Atram has a wide range of investment products and our capabilities span across several asset classes meant to service the different investment objectives of each individual. And with these, it is with great pride that we announce that Atram has won Best Investment Solutions Provider Philippines 2022 from International Business Magazine Award and World Business Outlook Awards. For today's session, we hope that somehow we assisted you to hashtag take on tomorrow by investing your hard earned money with an award winning fund house. Hashtag together we can reach our goals. At this point, we would like to move on to the live questions from our audience. Sadly, Miguel won't be able to join us for the Q&A. Nevertheless, we have the manager of the fund, Mr. Devi Ulpo, to answer your questions. All right, we have some several questions coming in. So let me read. So the first question, how does this fund benefit from a hiking rate environment? What are the advantages of using this fund? Uh, we'll give the floor to Mr. Uh, Devi for this one. Um, thanks, Russ. Um, okay, to answer the, the question, uh, basically, um, I think the, the fund takes advantage of the value seen now on uh, fixed income uh, investments as yields have adjusted significantly uh, early on ahead to take into account the upward adjustment in uh, policy rates by the BSP. So using this fund uh, allows you to optimize and diversify your participation in uh, income-oriented products um, through careful and uh, strategic allocation between fixed income and equity income-oriented instruments. So, but that really depends on the investment environment. But for now, given that the yields have uh, increased significantly and uh, still volatile equity markets, um, we may actually tilt towards uh, fixed income instruments relative to uh, other equity oriented in, uh, uh, equity income oriented instruments. Great, very insightful, uh, Sir Devi. So thanks for that. So the next question, uh, I think, DJ will be the uh, best person to answer this one. Who's the fund suited for? Okay, thank you, Russ. So the fund is suited for a person looking for an investment solution of where they want to basically put a lot of their money because this fund is already a, a well-diversified portfolio. This could be your only investment, actually, because it's already invested into multiple asset classes. Uh, we have made the fund in a way that all of the asset classes are income generating so for those that are looking for income this is the perfect fund for you uh if you're moderately aggressive in your risk profile but towards the more conservative side this fund is also for you and if you're seeking income through multiple sources this fund is for you great uh, sounds like a good, really good fund for people that are looking to diversify uh, their portfolios. Thanks, DJ. So the next question I think would be fit for Devi. Uh, has the local inflation peaked? What variables affect the local inflation rate? What does this mean on BSP policy action? Okay, sure. So um, whether the local inflation peaked, I think given the policy tools, the BSP, uh, and the government has been uh, deploying. We anticipate inflation to soften up in the next 12 months. Of course, that will really depend on where uh, energy or commodity prices will be. Um, of course, also um, whether the inflation or current inflation feeds into the secondary uh, or second round effects, whether uh, people are expecting further inflation uh, adjustments moving forward. But in fact, the BSP has mentioned that uh, for next year, we have a better environment. Uh, BSP uh, expects uh, inflation to be closer to around the 4% average for the year. So that is actually a softening from the current uh, environment where we are beyond 6%. So I think at least in the short to medium term, the expectation is really that the inflation will soon so soften up 
um the bsp has also guided that uh, uh they will not be doing much hikes or at least the large jump hikes will not be there 50 75 base points uh but rather they're expecting one to two 25 base points for the rest of the year um a lot of it is because they have already front loaded the policy uh and policy tools to be able to um uh, affect inflation so to speak um moving forward i think uh we are already at the tail end of that uh, inflation trajectory so we might actually see a peaking um in the in the thing in the short term three to four months uh we may also see be seeing already the peak in the uh, bsp stockishness so what does that mean that means that uh you may want to really lock in interest rates or income oriented instruments at, at, at this environment because once uh inflation uh normalize yields will normalize and maybe the investment opportunity will not uh, be be there so i think this is the very good time to accumulate through this fund. great thanks devi so our next question how could i invest in the fund well i can take on this one so you may invest in the fund through the atrium prime app it is our newest investments platform where not only can you invest in the Atram Peso Diversified Income Fund, but also to number one, have your own investment uh, management account or EMA and create a diversified uh, portfolio across your uh, various asset classes. And also invest in more than 20 other funds covering global and local markets, get exclusive access to different investment insights and advice through the Knowledge Hub and get premium support through your personal client advisor. All of these in your mobile devices. As such, we invite everyone to download the Atom Prime app via Google Play Store for Android users or the Apple App Store for Apple users. Once done, simply register, apply for a Prime membership, deposit, and start investing. Thanks, everyone. Um, cool. Uh, let's move on to the next question. Uh, investors may miss out on the big picture opportunities due to current market situation. What are some themes and opportunities that investors should look forward to? I will give the floor to Devi on this one. Yeah, thanks for the question. So basically, I'll reiterate some of the themes I mentioned earlier. So again, the recent uptick in interest rates owing to the uptrend inflation figures an opportunity to lock in interest rates at current levels. So we're also reiterating the view that CPI or the inflation figure will almost near peak. Well, the BSP hawkishness is also maybe near peak. Uh, we think in, uh, investors should uh, take advantage of the elevated yield levels for a long-term hold, so to be able to collect that uh, income you are looking for. Um, further to this, the anticipated uh, decline in interest rates. Uh, if, if you add the rosy uh, economic outlook moving forward, that is also good for uh, equity-oriented or equity-linked uh, income oriented instruments such as uh, uh, REITs or real estate investment trusts and uh, high dividend equity. So those two kickers, I think that uh, DJ discussed previously, will also form part of the of a major, uh, of some of the portion of the fund. So the, the fund will be able to take advantage of the optimization between fixed income and uh, equity income uh, oriented instruments. So this fund essentially is designed to capture and maximize the opportunities we see in the medium term. So again, uh, it is, uh, everyone is feeling the inflation right now, but once the inflation normalizes uh, in the short to medium term next year, uh, this this fund will really perform uh, as we anticipated it. As we anticipated it. Thanks, Devi. Uh, thanks for all the questions. And please do keep, on, uh, keep them coming in. We have more. So the next one should be for DJ. How much should I invest in this fund? Well, that would really depend on how much you can invest. Uh, this fund will be available for as low as 1,000 pesos. But given that this is a fully diversified portfolio, you could invest most, uh, if not 80% of your portfolio or your savings into this fund uh, after your emergency fund. So uh, the question of how much you should invest would depend upon you. Uh, if you want to go a bit more aggressive, of course, you could add more 
weight to equities or uh, whatever risky assets that you'd like to invest in, like for example, crypto. Um, but overall, this could uh, allow for a core portfolio or a base portfolio that you could work on. Great, great. Thanks, DJ. Uh, so I have a question here about the BSP interest rates. Uh, so Devi, do you see the BSP lowering interest rates next year because of possible effects from impending uh, U.S. recession? Uh, that's a good question. So, well, it really depends uh, on how our economy um, adjusts relative to the global economy, uh, at least in the medium term. The idea is that uh, the first mandate of the BSP is to um, influence inflation and inflation expectation. Now, once that inflation goes towards the target, it becomes a question of uh, whether our economy will soften up. And at least based on the outlook of our uh, macro team and equity team, the economic growth outlook in the short to medium term is actually rosy uh, and the large part of that you will be seeing when you get out to traffic and uh, you know every everything is opening up everyone the kids are going back to school uh everyone is going back to the office so that uh mobility increase in mobility will allow for increase in economic activity once we see better economic activity then you're gdp will tend to also follow um i think for the u.s they were ahead of us um, uh, several months. So now they're just experiencing the normalization of the pent-up demand. Now they're moving towards their uh, um, normal, so to speak, economic uh, activity. But for us, we are just entering that phase. So at, at least in the short to medium term, we're seeing a lot of growth. The BSP might not uh, um, lower interest rates, but what they can do is that they can um, cut reserve requirement ratios, which is also have that uh, a functionality of bringing down interest rates just because the BSP will allow for more liquidity to flow into the economy. So uh, at least for us, uh, we are seeing growth and the BSP might actually fuel that growth by cutting reserve requirement ratio rather than the, the policy rate for next year. Got it. So I just have a follow-up question, Devi. Uh, with rates peaking though earlier than expected, would you recommend accumulating fixed income securities now over stocks? Okay, so it's a it's a also a balance between your risk appetite. Uh, it's not if you're if you want to try to maximize the market, and you have a view uh, at least if you believe the our, our view that uh, there's a rosy economic outlook down the road. But uh, interest rates are also looking very enticing from an absolute level. Uh, I think it would be best to express that uh, you through the fund, because at least for us, what we will do is to, um, if we see that the that, uh, fixed income will do better for this year, the allocation of that fixed income in the portfolio will be, uh, will be larger. But of course, there needs to be a timely shift between those uh, fixed income investments toward more equity oriented ones, you know. Uh, interest rates have declined to the level that equity is a better uh, investment instrument. So at least for us, we will be able to time that, uh, allocate and be overweight more equity-oriented instruments rather than uh, fixed income when the time comes that uh, you know uh, we're seeing less volatility on the, on the risk market. So at least for now, uh, I would tend to agree uh, if fixed income is, is relatively uh, an okay investment, but I am not discounting that the uh, equity risk is also good down the road because the reopening will be there. No? But uh, if you are kind of confused, it's better to just invest in the fund and uh, let us take care of those uh, investment decisions for you. Cool. Um, DJ, do you have anything to add? Well, that allows also for a lot of our uh, fixed income products to be very viable at this point. So uh, one such product is the Atrium Total Return Peso Bond Fund that also Devi manages. So that's uh, one good fund that can take advantage of uh, the overall high rates environment that we have. And also the Atrium Corporate Bond Fund. Uh, 
which allows you to lock in the high rates that uh, we're, see, uh, we're seeing today. Awesome. I like how, uh, number one, uh, we are very quick into reacting towards like certain market movements and how we can somehow have a foresight on what will happen over the next few weeks or even months. And to DJ's point, it's very interesting also how uh, we have a very diversified set of products here in Atram where you, regardless of your investment profile or your risk profile, um, there would always be a product there for you to invest in. So thanks, uh, Devin DJ, on that. But then going back to DJ, I have a follow-up question. Uh, you did mention that we have a wide variety of products. How is the Atrum Peso Diversified Income Fund different from your balance fund or your other medium aggressive fund classification products? Okay, I think this is the, the perfect time to actually show what the other moderately aggressive products we have. But uh, talking first on the balanced fund and on the peso diversified income fund, they're, per, uh, they're both moderately aggressive products that cater to Philippine assets, but one is income oriented and one is growth oriented. So the peso diversified income fund is perfect for those looking for income and the Philippine Balance Fund is perfect for those that are looking for growth or capital appreciation. So depending on what your investment objective is on the Philippine assets, we do have a fund for you. We also have pure global funds. So you have like the global allocation, again, for those that are growth oriented, the global multi-asset income for those that are income oriented, and then if you want to take a bit more risk than just your multi-asset funds, you have your global dividend. So that would be a bit more growth-oriented and income-oriented. Or global bond income, which would be more, a bit more conservative, similar to the corporate bond fund. We also just launched the Asian multi-asset income fund for those that are looking for income elsewhere, uh, this particularly in Asia. Or if you want to take advantage of the high growth sectors, but also receive income from the U.S., you have the U.S. multi-asset income. And uh, last year, we also launched two sustainability funds, Global Healthcare and Global Infra Equity, which have also been very defensive during these very volatile times. So as you could see, uh, within our plate of moderately aggressive products, you have very different uses for them and different uh, what do you call that? Different target markets for them. So we always uh, say here in Atram, there, uh, there's always that perfect fund for you. It won't be a perfect fund for everyone, but it will be depending on what your investment objective is and what your goal is and how I, and also what your view is on the market. Awesome. I, it's very nice that we have so much, so much investment products out there and just, as mentioned earlier, also, a lot of those products are also available in Atram Prime. So if ever you guys are also interested um, in not just the uh, Atram Peso Diversified Income Fund, um, feel free to download and register as a Prime member. Thanks, DJ. Um, but one more question, yet again, about the um, Atram Peso Diversified Income Fund. When will this fund be available? So it will be available in Atrum Prime on August 31. That's a few days from now. So save up that money already for uh, this new offering. And don't miss out because this is a, a first of its kind in the market. Uh, there's no other fund here that provides you access to all the income generating assets here in the Philippines. You could have some funds that are focused on the dividend paying equities or uh, that are focused that are on just the government bonds and corporate bonds. But this fund provides you uh, all of those with the added bonus of income uh, being paid out semi-annually. Nice, nice. Uh, thanks, DJ, for that. Um, and one last question. Uh, what type of securities does the fund hold? How often does the portfolio change? Okay, I'll take this first and then I'll pass it to Debbie with regards to how often the portfolio changes. So uh, the type of securities that this fund holds is, again, all the income generating assets. So that's government bonds, corporate bonds, preferred shares, 
common shares and real estate investment trusts. If the if there are more income generating assets that will come in the future, we will also revise the overall uh, portfolio to add those as well. Uh, and I could leave it to Devi on how often the portfolio will change. Um, thanks, DJ. So, uh, of course, um, it was mentioned earlier that uh, the fund is very strategic in nature, but uh, for, uh, given the market, past market changes or the fast evolving uh, market environments, we will be able to take advantage of that dynamic approach as well. Although, do not expect this to trade uh, this week, next week. It, it's, it's, there, there are certain milestones that uh, we are looking at when uh, investing and shifting into the asset allocation. So basically, we like, for example, we like yields uh, around the closer to 5.5%. Uh, definitely, once uh, interest rates normalize, it goes back below 5%. We're going to shift more towards uh, equity income-oriented in instruments. So there are certain milestones. There are certain levels that we're we're watching on to be able to rotate in a timely manner and but at the same time um, control the risk parameters of the All right. Thanks, DJ and Debbie. I think that is all the time we have uh, for questions. Again, save the date, everyone, August 31st for the launch of the Atram Peso Diversified Income Fund. But before we wrap up, any last words, Debbie, DJ? Oh sure, sure. Yeah. Uh um I think if you are really if you really want to take advantage of the benefits of fixed income uh and equities and have that uh, income mindset, uh it's best to just buy this fund, accumulate and uh, let us manage your investments for you. DJ, any last words? Okay, uh for the last words again. Don't miss out on this opportunity for it's for the first of its kind. Uh, the Atrium Peso Diversified Income Fund available on August 31 in Atrium Pride. And thank you for everyone who listened in and watched uh, this webinar. I hope that this will help you guys out on your investment journey. Thank you. Once again, thank you, Miguel and DJ. And of course, thank you to our audience. We appreciate you taking the time to join us today. We hope you were able to gain insights and key takeaways from today's webinar. I'm sure you guys are interested to know more about how to invest in Atram Peso Diversified Income Fund. So please stay tuned to know more. Less than one week to go, and the Atrium Peso Diversified Income Fund will be available first on the Atrium Prime app. So make sure you mark your calendars Wednesday, August 31, 2022, and download the Atrium Prime app now. If you have any further questions or would like to learn more about Atrium Prime, please visit our website, prime.atrium.com.ph. Join our live stream next month, September 3, Saturday at 8 p.m. with finance coach Randell Tiongson together with a very special guest, Miss Invest Cha Gomez, and discover a whole new side of investment know-hows that you would have never known before. You may do so by scanning the QR code flashed on the screen. You may also type in the link found on the left side of your screen. Again, if you are just starting out in this world of finance and investments, or a seasoned investor who would like to be in the loop with the latest investments, news, and strategies, we have some wonderful resources to get you started. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Atram Studio. If you have any friends who you think would like this webinar but are unable to attend, a replay of this session will be posted on our official YouTube channel. 
Don't forget to click the notification bell so you can get notified on all your devices when new videos are uploaded. Also, please don't forget to visit our website, www.atram.com.ph for more detailed information about all the funds that we offer. You may also scan the QR code and visit the official social media pages. Lastly, please answer the survey at the end of this webinar. We would love to know your thoughts on today's topic. On behalf of Atram, thank you again for your attendance and participation. We wish you and your loved ones continued health and safety. Have a great day.